Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a partial command called remove event. So previously we have seen the partial command called get event and get new event. And right now we're going to see how to remove those events after getting any event. So that I'm just going to open the partial. And here I'm just going to help me for the command remove event. And these are the syntax descriptions and the synopsis which is given for the remove event command. As it says, the, the, the remove event command was used for deleting the events from the event queue. So let's execute some examples in the PowerShell window and so that we can go to the PowerShell online help. Um, so these are the syntax and the syntax which is uh, as it is given the partial it is also given here and these are the parameters that is the source identifier confirm what if and these are some of the parameters and these are the common parameters which is given here which will be used for all the partial commands and let's go to the examples yeah it's here so I'm just going to clear the screen and then now what I'm going to do is for at first we need to remove an event so in order to remove an event you need to have a valid events in the events queue for that I'm just going to see the events first so for that the get event command was used I'm just going to hit enter here and if you see here there is no event created or there is no event in the process queue so for that I'm just going to create a new event called with the help of the command called new event and I'm just going to mention the source identifier as event and with some message data as data I'm just going to hit enter here so now what I'm going to do is after creating the this event, I'm just going to list this event. So we see here the event has been listed here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this event with the help of the partial command remove event. I'm just going to mention this one. We can also mention the source identifier or the event identifier. And there are more parameters here. So, so if I'm just going to mention the source identifier for removing the event, I'm just going. I need to mention the new event here. So I'm just going to mention new event here to remove this event and if I am going to use the event identifier I'm just going to mention the event identifier number 2 so I'll just show you how to use the event identifier first so let's get the event if I mention the event identifier we'll just look out the event so if you see here the event even to the identifier 2 does not exist so this is how you will use the remove even partial command to remove the events which was in the current partial queue and you need to keep in mind that this get event and the new event are generated only for this current version of the powershell and if you just close this so the, it was current session of the PowerShell and if you just close this PowerShell window this event will not be available and we need to create a new window in order to see or in order to remove the events first so I think this video might be helpful to you
and if you like the video you can just subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching the video